So now we are to look at this triangle which appears above the head of the Buddha and um, it's obviously set in space or in the vastness of uh, space. Um, there is um, the cosmos behind but there's a, a white triangle if you like holding which looks like a globe. From what I understand that this globe is actually meant to be the earth and symbolic of it, representation of it, and that this uh, earth has the network of light, love and strength uh, as light circles or light grids uh, through the whole planet. And uh, this is another meditative experience in which um, the meditators, a group of meditators, were meditating on um, actually um, SF, actually, uh, the foundation, and were working with the idea, just like the triangles network, of building networks of light throughout the planet, triangulations of the networks. And so you can imagine this whole grid uh, through the planet. And um, in the midst of that, there, this was seen to be an experience where this entire grid um, was being um, worked on through with uh, two devas or two angels. Two angels were virtually kneeling, uh, which we don't see in this picture fully, but they were kneeling against this triangle, holding their hands there, and actually blowing on three sections. I can see two angels, but they were blowing on three sections of the grid in a circular fashion. In other words, there were three circles that were being uh, activated. So um, the nodes in the intersections of the actual uh, grid were being made to come to life, fired up, if you like. And uh, so that there was this activation of three regions of the world community of souls being brought to uh, increased activity into um, firing, uh, into initiatory, perhaps even uh, major, major state uh, lifting their consciousness. 